Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited in this one. I finally got my three star, three and two star attack team going. And in this one, I'm gonna take you through the team and everything you need to know about it. So firstly, we're gonna go through the monsters, um, their glyphs, and just a quick overview on them. I have done uh, individual reviews on most of them already, so we're not gonna to go too in depth. But first up, the first attacker in the team is the Wind Samurai. Uh, he's fantastic. He's got that good, strong AoE. Slows the enemies he doesn't target. Haunts the one he does. All handy. Uh, the second skill is the team up. Uh, handy for landing extra debuffs and just getting extra damage out. And then his first skill, I got the 35% chance to decrease the defense. Uh, the other option is great damage. I'd probably prefer the great damage, but you take what you're given. Um, when we look at his stats... He's sort of the minimum stats uh, in HP and defense that I'd aim for with your attackers. I'd probably want to be up around that 850, 900 defense and closer to 10k HP. But, um, and that's with wind units. Uh, with other elements, you're going to want to be tankier even more. So um, I find wind the easiest to use for the attackers. Obviously, you get the damage bonus against the boss, but also you take less damage. And now that the boss does do a lot of damage, um, it is a lot tougher. And then after that, you want to just go for all out attack. Um, attack, crit rate, crit damage, and some speed. Uh, you don't want him to be so, too slow. The other thing I'd really prefer on this guy is lifesteal. He does die a fair bit in these runs just because he's not topping himself off enough um, with the lifesteal like the Harpy is. Um, but yeah, that's him. Very decent glyphs, um, but like I said, I'd prefer lifesteal. The next one we look at is the Harpy, and these two are the only two... Uh, monsters in this team that I have actually five starred because they're the attackers you need the extra damage um, She's a lot more solid. She's on that lifesteal. So she's always topping herself off especially with that AOE attack um, And her defense and HP are that little bit higher um, Especially defense which really uh, it is noticeable um, So her skills the third skill the third skill is probably one of the most important things in this whole team And that is the attack break because if you go uh, more than one round of the boss attacking you without the attack break on him, uh, you're pretty much going to lose. Um, the dam damage is just too high now to not have an attack break in there. Um, and then her second skill is also awesome. The defense buff is actually kind of handy too on a monster that she does use it on sometimes. Um, and then it refills the turn bar. Great when she uses it on your support units, um, even herself, anything basically. Any monster she uses this on is handy. And then her first skill, I've got a chance to decrease the attack. I'd love to see these um, increase to closer to 100% chance because the 35 does feel really low, same with the Samurai. Um, but the, the attack break does come in handy sometimes when she lands it, especially if she teams up with the Samurai to land it. Um, just because, like I said, that attack break does save you. Her other option is uh, inflicts great damage, which is also fantastic. Um, more damage is always going to make runs quicker. Um, but yeah, so she's on that life steal which makes her, um, like I said, very much uh, better than the Samurai just for topping herself off. But she's on speed, speed, uh, crit damage, crit rate, and then attack and attack. Um, that's pretty much her. I've done the review on her already. Um, the next member of the team um, is the Fire Kappa. Now, I haven't done a, I might end up doing a, just a review on him alone, um, but this is where he's at at the moment. He's there for his his third skill. It's a haunt, a d armor break, and a poison. It is on a five turn cooldown, um, which is more than some other armor breakers, but the haunt is really handy on AoE. So what I find with this guy, if, if he lands that haunt and armor break, um, then my Harpy's AoE, if it crits, can one-shot uh, waves um, as long as she does crit and it has both those debuffs. So he's really handy in that you don't need the attack buff um, to make it work. You'll see in some of those runs that I do that he'll use that third skill, then my Harpy or AOE, kill a couple, maybe miss a couple because she hasn't got that high crit rate. But then my Nymph will move, um, probably apply the heal, and then my Samurai will destroy the rest. And that's really handy in this team because that means the next turn I've got the Nymph that has attack buff ready and then also it'll get around to the holy sister and she'll have uh the cooldown reduction and speed buff ready so it sort of synergizes pretty well i'll talk more about the turn order when we go into a run my turn order isn't perfect but um yeah i'll talk a bit more about it uh but this guy basically i just tried to make him as tanky as possible he does die sometimes due to the elemental disadvantage um 
but I'd love to have him more tanky, but basically I'd have to five star him to do that, and I just don't have the uh, the fodder ready for it. Um, accuracy is important and speed's important as well. Um, the rest doesn't really matter. So he's on speed, speed. Um, my my glyphs are not optimal. He wants flat defense and flat HP at four star, but he's on double flat defense and then double HP percent. Um, just because it's what I had, I'm using just leftover glyphs uh, for these most of these units. So that's him. Uh, we move on to the Fire Nymph. Um, she's obviously there. She's got the heal with the elemental advantage uh, defensively, which is massive. Um, the other awesome thing is that she's got the attack buff on a three turn cooldown and also a resistance buff, which is very handy um, for not getting armor breaks, slows, all that sort of thing. Um, first skill is just the inflicts great damage. but. Um, her, I've got her on double appeasement, which I kind of like. I think I'd like meditation on her, but I don't really have them. Um, the double appeasement just means that her heal does do a good chunk more, um, which helps, especially with my samurai not having the lifesteal. So um, she's not, not, not all maxed out, the glyphs, uh, but they are fairly decent. So I've got her on speed, speed, defense, HP, defense, percent, HP, percent. I think at four star, she wants defense, percent, and flat HP, but... I just ended up throwing on what I could with good speed subs and stuff like that because I really wanted to get her a bit faster. Um, so that's where she's at. And then the final member there of the team is the Water Holy Sister, just a fantastic unit. Basically there for this skill, which is um, the, the clans decrease cooldowns and speed buff. But the second skill does come in very handy. Um, the heal, like once again, because that samurai doesn't have life steal, good for topping him off. And I got the mute evolve, which is really handy because... Um, Sometimes, normally on the middle, the middle boss, the wave three, she'll attack the um, the shogun and mute him, which is very handy. Stops you getting stunned, which speeds up runs as well. Um, but her, once again, you just want her tanky, um, fast. But I tried to make her the slowest in my team, so she's not too fast. And these are very average glyphs I have on her. So I, if I had the meditation glyphs, I'd probably put her on double meditation. That would be optimal for her, but that's just what I got. I just had some spare haste that I just slapped on her to get her tanky and stuff. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the uh, your skill tree for your staff. This is the one that I've been testing. I haven't decided what I like more. Um, the the staff attack speed is actually handy because I've got the damage dealers doing the damage. I don't. I feel like I don't need the extra damage in it. I feel like the speed is really helpful. I've got this one out, testing it out, because like I said, the attack break is very important on that boss, um, but also the chance for a defense buff, a chance for a partial immunity, and a chance for a shield. Um, just all help in the survival. But the other build I was doing was the Chimera build. It's a very similar build, um, which is just this one, which is the damage for, damage for the first, um, armor break for the second. Probably speed could be helpful too there. Um, but armor rake's always handy if he uses it at the start of a wave. Um, then the speed again, I like the speed. Um, then the, the purge, which is very handy, um, especially on the boss if you can get the immune, uh, the shields off. Um, then damage again, um, just because damage is good. And then the last one, I go turn bar reduction because the turn bar reduction is very helpful in um, attacker teams. Against the boss, I've already got elemental advantage, so I don't need that. And the poisons aren't doing too much, so... I'm not too concerned about that. The turn bar reduction buys me time, and that's the most important thing in these runs. So um, we'll go into a run, then I'll just talk about the turn order and stuff like that, and um, I'll put my timer on when I start it, and we'll just see what sort of time this run does. But um, like I said, my turn order is probably not optimal. Um, I've got, so we'll just have a look here. So the capital will go first. He does that. And then, like I said, the harpy can then just one shot waves if she crits all of them, which is awesome. So Kappa goes first again, then the harpy, then the, uh, nymph followed by the samurai and then the holy sister. So the holy sister's last, which is where I want her. I originally thought I'd want the nymph first for the attack buff, but because of that Kappa being able to do the, um, the whatchamacallit um the, the the haunt it means that my harpy can actually just one shot those waves and here we go this is this is going to be a terrible run because this doesn't actually happen often but when the harpies do get this immortal buff up it takes forever because this kappa will keep reducing the turn bars and it it's just it's it's brutal 
But that's the one thing I'm lacking on this team is a purge in the monsters. Um, I couldn't think of a good three-star unit to do. I did try throwing in the... Um, see, there we go. Returns, it reduces the attack bar. It's slowed. It's just going to take forever, this. Um, but I did throw in the Wind Ninja because the Wind Ninja is awesome in that he'll always uh, kill something normally and increase the cooldowns on those Harpies so that they can't um, get that buff up. But... My Wind Ninja is just too squishy. Um, his stats, I, I even put a defense cliff on it. I just couldn't get him tanky enough for it, um, which was a real pity, but it is what it is. Maybe eventually when I get some better glyphs, I'll be able to do it. But that, while I'm talking about glyphs, that is another thing. You've really got to have good glyphs to do this sort of run. Um, not so much on your support units. Support units, you need the speed, and then obviously the tankiness is helpful as well. But on your, um, on your damage dealers, you really do want those good glyphs to be able to just um, get that damage out, obviously, because damage is what's getting you through the run, so it's the most important thing. Um, when I was talking about turn order, I would love my samurai to actually be faster than my nymph as well. Um, so on those runs that uh, I could do the, um, the kappa followed by the, the harpy and the samurai to kill something before I have to use the, um, the nymph. But it's just because he's based on attack I'd rather have the attack on him than anything else so this run is currently at 2 minutes 20 but we did take a long time killing that uh, immortal buff so that finished at about 2.23 so that wasn't too bad but we, we waste a lot of time on that immortal buff on the uh, on the second wave so we'll just do another run while I keep talking about it um, replay um, yeah so like I said that samurai I'd love to have him a bit faster but it's just, it's he's stuck where he is because he is an attacker and I'd rather have that extra damage. But um, the, my, my normal team that I was using before this was actually with my Earth Zealot and my Water um, Vampire. And it actually wasn't, like it was quick and it was a little bit more safe, I think, because more monsters were five star and stuff like that and I had more cooldown reduction. But it's um, this is actually quite competitive with that. And in that team, my... Zealot is my fastest monster and it's sort of once I put the nymph in and found it her slower it was working better I'd love to have my zealot slower but he's um he's fast for arena so that's where he is the other great thing about this team is when you if you use the nymph the kappa and the samurai that's the core of a arena um cleave team so they're not units that you're building solely for this. You can use them elsewhere. Some people might have used the Fire Nymph as their leveling healer as well. So it's actually very handy. I haven't actually timed this run, but it's looking fairly quick. Um, yeah, so the Nymph is actually really awesome. Um, I do like her, especially for this sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so you can use those three in a Cleave Arena team. And then if you're a bit higher in the leagues, you might need a Purger for the um, immunity glyphs. Otherwise, you can always use the, the Harpy there as a second AOE nuker. So they're not wasted units. And the Water Holy Sister is amazing everywhere. So she's never a, um, a bad option. But um, I'm hoping we don't wipe here. We need to get that heal up and the attack break up, which we might not get. So this is where it gets a bit tense. Okay, we've got the attack break and the Nymph. That's the one other thing I noticed. The Nymph does derp a lot. Um, doesn't like healing. And then for some reason, when the attack buff's ready, she doesn't use it as much. But this situation, um, this team will get through it fine with uh, with this normally because you've, I've gotten rid of the defense break and it's pretty much smooth sailing. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Good thing I do have the Chimera stuff, so I have a chance at an armor break as well. Um, but yeah, I have got another team I'm working on as well, another speed team, um, which involves the Air Crusader. I just haven't got enough uh, one-star wind fodder to skill him up yet, so... That's a bit on the back burner, but we'll get there eventually. Um, but yeah, like I said, this team, that Samurai, because he doesn't top himself, is why he dies a lot. The um, the Kappa, it's just because I don't have optimal glyphs on him and he's not five-starred. If he's five-starred, I feel like this team would be really um, a lot safer and a lot more reliable, but um, this is pretty much where it's at. It's like I said, it's it's averages between about a minute and a half and two and a half minutes. I have had a couple runs below a minute and a half, which is really good, and a couple runs up towards that three minute mark. Um, when things like this happen, you get around that three mark, three minute mark, and then when 
if I end up getting uh, stuck on two stages with the um, immortal buff, so the second and fourth waves, if they both get stuck with the immortal buff, um, then I do get really long runs. But I'm just going to end this run because I don't want to bore you guys with that too much. But um, we'll just have a look at the team again. So that that's the basic team. Um, something else that I know people will be asking is replacements. So replacements for the fire capper. I did try it with the water monk, um, but I just didn't find it as good on the boss stage because that haunt was really important and sometimes the um, samurai wasn't getting his haunt on the boss because he was attacking other things because of the way the AI works at the moment. So, and also that, because he has that guaranteed speed slow when he attacks something, the, the attack bar reduction. The monk does have the attack bar steal, but I don't know. Um, the monk is also a four turn cooldown as well and he has the attack buff with it, but for some reason I just like the Kappa more for this team, um, but the monk is reasonable. Uh, I didn't. I did try it with my wind gargoyle, but he's not quite as good. Uh, my gargoyle was glitched for arena, so he's just basically high accuracy and then some attack. So he kept dying. So he wasn't as good. Um, what else did I try? Like I said, the monk. The monk was really nice. Um, I feel like almost any um, defense breaker would be acceptable, but um, the the monk and the capper are really good just because they have that turn bar reduction, which is very handy on the boss stage because it doesn't matter what they hit. If they hit the fire knoll, they're, they're slowing down the invincibility. If they hit the uh, other knoll, they're slowing down the armor breaks. So it's all it's all beneficial. Um, and then for the the nuka spots, so for the, for the wind harpy, I don't actually know a good replacement for it. I feel like something like maybe the Earth uh, Colossus might be all right because he has that AOE attack break with stuns for more control on the boss stage, plus the defense buff and the cleanse, but the damage isn't as high. So um, he's sort of a safer option if you do have him. He's available for, uh, available for stones in the shop at the moment, but um, he's not quite as good. For this... Uh, this uh, samurai slot, I feel like you could almost replace him with any um, any nuka that you want that's preferably not fire. Um, especially Nat 4s because they, they, they have better base stats uh, normally across the board than him. Um, the one I think would be the absolute best in this would be the Wind Rikshasa. It has the, the speed slow tied to its um, second skill, I believe it is. Uh, it has a third skill that's a massive nuke based on speed, so I could get him fast and not lose as much damage. And then his first skill has, if you get the right of evolution, um, can be the one skill that has a 50% chance to apply a defense break and an attack break, I'm pretty sure it is, which is which is also fantastic. So his kit is amazing for this because he should prioritize the boss. He's gonna slow the boss, attack break the boss, defense break the boss. Um, he's just amazing, basically. But this is the other unit I'd probably use in my team instead of the Samurai. I don't have skill-ups for him. I would be 5 starring him if I did have skill-ups, but like I said, I'm working on that Wing Crusader to try another option. Um, but yeah, he's, um, he's got the AoE, uh, two AoEs, one with a blind, one with an Execrate. He's just good damage as well, um, and then... If you get lucky, you can evolve him into a chance to gain extra return, so he's getting that stuff up more often. And it's just really good cleave damage um, for the waves as well. So he's another great option. But yeah, try it and test anything out you want. The the two key ones in this team are really the Fire Nymph, um, because there is no other healer. Uh, well, you could try the Earth Zealot, obviously. He's fantastic. Extra cooldown reductions. Um, but yeah, from, from the three-star perspective, the Water Nymph and the, um, the Water Holy Sister are really important. Like I said, you do have things like the Earth Zealot and the Water Vampire or the um, the Wind uh, Shaman that are great options for that cooldown reduction, attack buff, all that sort of thing. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the team. I hope this helps you guys. Once again, just a disclaimer, you do need really good glyphs to use make this team work. But um, I hope this helps you guys once you do get to that glyph stage of starting to do some speed teams. Um, I will be trying to work on teams for the other dungeons as well once I get my other team for this uh, sorted and find out if it works. Um, but yeah, I'll, ke I'll keep progressing, but those will be slow to come because obviously I've got to build units and uh, try and find things that work with three stars. But thanks for watching another video, guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.